so we just finished Idle Springs and Colossus. So now we're gonna go on to the rest of Summer Forest. <clears throat> and a friendly reminder to those who are watching the VOD right now that I was hello my voice earlier this week helping a friend with a VA work, so I do apologize if my uh, voice cracks a bit or if I need to clear my throat. I have a Capri Sun handy right now for uh, hydrating. Reflecting on the walls is so pretty. I'm not a game developer by any means, but because I do work in tech, I guess, and I know developers, and for that matter, I know artists, it's like I know how much love goes into simple things like that, so I like to point it out as I go. You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Crypto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, I don't like Hurricos. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the Dragon World. I do remember, however, there's another uh, challenge in that world. Or the guy, maybe it's not the challenge, maybe it's the character for that world. That's another Tom Kenny character. So, since they kept him as the professor, I'm guessing they'll probably keep him for this role, too. And um, for those who don't know, Tom Kenny is uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. Sunny Beach and Tarver Coast. Hey. Uh, sorry. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you yeah, to... Yeah, 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 I like. get it. Okay. Chad. Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway. But if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! That voice is very familiar to me, and I want to say it's Morgana from Persona 5. Which I'm only really remembering right now, because we were just playing Persona 5, uh, the Royal... <clears throat> Excuse me. Just a couple days ago. I still don't know why that alert is triggering in stream labs. I need to turn it off. Like, I can't. It should, by all intents and purposes, be off right now. Maybe I have to delete it entirely? Okay, apart from deleting it entirely, I literally don't know what I can do to stuff the drink the alert. So, that's what I did. I'll just recreate it on um, Friday when I go home and play it again. had trouble with the gear grinders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. 
If you find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. I think that is still Tom I Kenny. think there's a diode around here somewhere, uh, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. It looks really nice here, too. I remember it being a bit darker in the original. Maybe I'll have compare photos from the original to this as I make the VODs. That'd be cool, huh? I wish I still had footage of when we were playing this the first time, when I first started streaming in 2017. That'd be, like, nice access now. I have some footage of when we played the original Spyro. I don't much have much from when we played some of two. You're right about the VA. Uh, Tom Kenny? Or Flora? I think that's her name. Or both. Fauna, maybe? Aura, so something like that. I don't know. Ah. Oh, it's a rainbow. the new version of this level almost okay. I, I don't know what it was about the original. I always hated this level as a kid. Not so much right now. Cassandra Lee Morris. Word. Um, I, I don't, I can't say all the time, so I don't want to, I don't want to make it like a humble brag because I've definitely been wrong a lot too. But I feel like I kind of have an ear for voice actors when I listen to things, or at least very specific ones. Or John's just really bad at recognizing them. I can't tell from our our dynamic. But a lot of times, like when we're watching TV, he'll be like, "Who is that?" Or I'll just like, because like people like Steve Bloom are super recognizable. Like I'll just randomly hear him in commercials and stuff sometimes. I'll be like, oh. But when I do try and recognize something, I like to try and play guessing games about them. And obviously Vic McNugget is like really super easy to recognize, which is... Can't really enjoy that anymore. You can appreciate the art, but not the artist. It's cause like we were watching the dub of Oron not too long ago. I feel like if you've heard somebody's voice enough, you start to recognize it easy. Yeah, dude. Okay, do you want to know something really wild? Here's, again, not a humble brag, just a, just a fact. Like, the other day when I was watching Nailed It on Netflix, there was a specific episode with a, a guy who was competing on it, and I recognized his voice immediately. And I was like, is that the DJ MC from our wedding? And then he said his name, and I was like, oh my god, it is. <laughs> it absolutely is, because I went back and I checked, just to make sure I wasn't crazy. I checked the emails, it is his name, and then I went back through all of our wedding pictures just to find a picture of him, because I remember there was one specific picture where we got him, and he was, um, he was in there. That was him. I recognized him, and I was like, what simulation? am I living in right now? But I did, I, I pegged him. 
and I had only talked to him, you know, maybe a couple times from the wedding, like planning the wedding and whatnot, and then from the night of the wedding, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, see, Serata, I don't even know who that is, but I, maybe if I heard her voice, I would recognize her, that's the thing. See them in a live action show. Yeah, I've actually seen. So, I was very privileged to see um, Steve Bloom and the rest of the entire cast of Bal Cowboy Bebop at Anime USA a few years ago. We actually went dressed as the Bebop crew. And if I'm editing this vod right now, I'll actually put in a picture so you can see it. But that was really fun. And they actually got a picture with us, and Steve Bloom actually retweeted it, and it was like one of those real high moments, you know? But I'm also not like one of those VA worshippers either, because Unfortunately, if we, as, as we've seen in some recent times that I won't get into, but if you Google it, you can find it easily. Um, there's been a lot of exposés on some not-so-great people in the VA world. Specifically the anime VA world, I guess I should say. Oh, she's Millie Thompson on Trigon. Word. Okay, yes, I do know who that is. Baby Bean. That's an adorable name. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm a bad omen. To be fair, Hercos is my least favorite level in Spyro, too. Yeah, dude. I didn't like it either. I was saying that like right before you got in here, Baby Bean. I was like, man, I really remember not like liking this level. And I don't get it because the music is really good. And now I remember. Like, I think I've seen one rat so far this whole level. And I've been wandering around. I know what these supercharged portals are for. I'm just trying to backtrack. God damn it, I can't remember how to do it. I'm just gonna keep going. And I hope I don't die. Uh, oh my goodness! Kimberly Page, thank you so much for the raid! I didn't realize- I maybe the alert still will show up. We're a big fan of anything 90s here. I am a 90s kid myself. So Nickelodeon, Lisa Frank, Windows 95, as you can see. Um, and I was like, to, Sunday is my free free play, like basically whatever I feel like playing. So uh, what, uh, were you playing Spyro 2, Kimberly, or were you playing uh, 1 or, or uh, 3? Number one, uh, which uh, levels were you uh, working on today? Uh, Year of the Dragon was my first Spyro game ever. I played actually from the very first one. My, it was actually my, it was the reason I wanted to get a PlayStation. My dad, uh, we had a Sega Genesis. I was like super poor when I was young, so I had a Genesis when everybody else had a PS1. But my dad got like, a, he had like just been promoted, so he was like, you know what? Uh, for your birthday, we'll get you a PS1, and I had played Spyro over at my friend's house, so it was like the, it was the, I think it was my 10th birthday, so it probably would have been 99. Uh, yes, to age myself, I'm 30 years old, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was like 99, uh, I think when I got my PS1, and Spyro was the first game I wanted to get, because I had played the first one. And I think it, I played it on a demo. 
because I think it was on one of the PlayStation demo discs you got back then. Remember demo discs, by the way? Uh, Ollivander, thank you for the follow. Evil idea that just hit. To make your 99, 1995 com aesthetic complete, you need 1.5 seconds of the dial-up modem noise when you start streaming again. <gasps> That's an awesome idea, actually. Glad to have found you. I have to go to get, get some dinner, but I'll be back and around to catch more of your streams. You are lovely. You too, Kimberly, and thank you so much. I will see you around. Now hop in uh, your stream sometime, too. And uh, my guys, if you're around, be sure to give Kimberly a follow. She sounds great. I'm like... I feel like I've seen you around here, Lone Wolf, or were you a part of, of uh, Kimberly's piece? Maybe I just know a, lo a lot of wolves. I was raised by wolves, so I guess that would make sense. Well, if you're new here, welcome. Activated all of the electric barriers. Uh, we've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders. Please take it as a reward. As long as they're not too hungry. True facts. Speaking about wolves and hunger and random information about the 80s and 90s and my dad my, I was I always like had this weird kick as a kid where I listened to 80s music which I guess when I say it out loud isn't that weird but um, specifically I love Duran Duran and I would Hungry Like the Wolf was like my favorite song to the point where it got on my dad's nerves because he did not like Duran Duran he's like I raised you on all of this quality music from the 70s and 80s, and you want to listen to this crap. My dad, for the, for the record, we did not always agree on mus uh, musical taste because he also doesn't like Michael Jackson, so, you know. Like, come on. I remember this thing. I remember this. Ah, these gear grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stones. If you can replace them all and activate our generator, I'd be very grateful. Uh, four difficulty. We're gonna do it though. This is one of my favorite parts. I think this might be my favorite part of this this world because I didn't love it. Um, how have I been? I've been good, Lone Wolf. That good, uh, glad to be back to streaming. I've only been back for about a week and a half. Prior to that, I was like, uh... Prior to that, I had been away for a while. So happy. That's right. You have to put these in, and then these punks come, and they take it out, and you have to, like, toast them. Oh, oh, but you can throw them off the side. Nice, yeah. I don't know if that was the case in the original. back though they like peek up over the side and stuff I don't think they stay away forever oh 
I heard that, sir. Hey. Nope. Didn't your mom raise you right? Harder now. There's not enough of me. Why? Why do you do this? to one, one another. I do appreciate that. You know. You were a little bit considerate. Now where do you go? Here. Well, I see why you're a level 4 difficulty now. Sheesh. In the original, the, the camera was maybe more top down or something. I'm having to do a lot more, a lot more with it now. I think I just killed all of them though, so hopefully that's it. I don't know where I'm missing. Oh, here we go. There's one. Right, so somewhere. Up. Hey! Oh, I thought that noise was the purple guys. Maybe it's the... Here we go. Maybe it's the... Little dog guy. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I was very Thank concentrated. You, in, in all honesty, you are a great streamer. Thank you! Lightning stones. Please, take it as a reward. If I can get Agus in this game, that'd be even better. Where is Persona All-Stars? Give me Makoto, Rise, Mitsuru all in one game. I know, well, in Persona Q, they're all together, but 
I love the sound Spyro makes when he puts one in his mouth. Yeah, it's a really good ASMR noise. This game reminds me a lot of, like, Star Wars Fallen Order. How so? Alright, I'm gonna head out. Bye, Sarah. By the way, you're fabulous. Thank you! Have a great one. I'm glad you like it. Should have spent 750 million. Give us the content we want, Bloomberg. It's not political ads. It's more Persona games. Okay. So I got that. Finish this part, that's cool. Now back to these god dang fans. Where is it? Oh no. It's this way, I think. This camera does leave something to be desired. Back and around here, right? Yeah. All right. Sure. Mm -hmm. Nope. Maybe I want to make a tighter turn around that corner. Oh no, I definitely can't go that way. There's a pool that way. There we go. There she is. Wait, there's not even anything back here? What a rip. Do you remember the first game you have played on stream or ever? Because I think so. Oh, I don't... Maybe that wasn't... Ugh, that's why. I'm an idiot. I didn't even have to do that charge. It was one of the normal ones. I need to know, I need to know how to get there. Maybe we get a flight thing later that lets us? No. Supercharge these clips. I don't know to do that yet. There's not like do I need to double jump? Is there something, like, I just don't, what am I missing here? I just wanna make sure there's not something. I might just have to come back here, maybe. don't want to give up, but at the same time... Oh, maybe this is it? Maybe this is where I start to go up. Because the thing is, even if I come over here and I supercharge these, there's nothing I can do until I can get high up enough to go to those fans. 
which makes me think I have to come back later. Yeah, I don't see any other outlet. It must be. Alright, well, I guess I'll go go back to the home world again. Are you trying to get to the top? Yeah, I just don't see any other way to get up. I, and I feel like I remember that there's a double jump somewhere in this game, so maybe that's what I'm missing. Use the charge to destroy the windmills in that area. I just assume if it stops the fans, that doesn't do anything for me. All right, give me a second. I need to like, I need to conceive a route here to get over to those windmills. So take the charge through this tunnel. No, not through this tunnel, through this area. Okay, so when I come out of this tunnel, I want to make a right. Alright, so one. Thank you, chat. Maybe I'm dumb, but I don't feel like this was explained to me. that I listen to you, Chad. Where would I be without you? Spiral, do you see that big building over there? The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Please help us by shutting down the machinery inside. I do love food. I'm thinking about it because I'm really hungry right now, but I don't... I feel like I can hold off. And now we experience the second half of Hurricos. Chad is you a friend. It is indeed. If you have any questions Kelly just had a 4.5 quake. Where? Me. I think about chicken wings mostly. Is it because you're a wolf? The next glides get tricky. You'll have to use your hover maneuver to make them. Press the action button during a glide to hover and get extra height. Remember to press the action button when you're very close to the windmill, or you won't make it. I don't know where that is. Wait, five difficulty? Really? Is it because I already did the hard part? Like, with the... with the supercharge, maybe? It's 
slow and steady wins the race here. What is the right way? I think he's over here. Twenty-six miles west of El Centro. You gotcha. Can have it if you want. I'm a chicken tender over wings, personally. Boneless wings are just chicken tenders. That being said, they are completely valid and uh, fair and delicious wings. To go back into the fans again, but I think that'll about 100% complete Hurricanes, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, the boneless wings topic. Listen, there will be no wing hate in here. All wings are delicious. If you give you a piece of chicken and you cover it in hot sauce, you're gonna have a good time. I like your blue hair, it's one of my favorite colors. Thank you! I'm surprised that uh, I've been able to maintain it given. Uh... Oh, shit! Oh, okay, good. Whew. I thought that there was nothing below that for a sec. Oh, I don't have to do this again. Word? Oh, yeah. Don't you uh, owe me something? That probably means there's another hover platform over here. But I'm gonna do it anyway. No, they're all delicious. No no chicken wing elitism in here. I'm actually just gonna see if there's a hover portal since I did do the thing already. Worth a shot. Doesn't look like there is. Damn it. I got too cocky. I got too cocky. Oh, wrong way. This world is so disorienting to me. What, Sarah? What's the word again? The blue that begins with a C? Cerulean? Yes, Cerulean. Do you need a hover portal for the other side? I think so. It didn't show up.
I just have to be more patient this time. Yep, it's spelled like a kat uh, katoma put in here. That is, fun fact, my favorite Crayola crayon color. Blue is not my favorite color, contrary to the um, shade of my hair. It's just my favorite hair color. My favorite color is pink. Oh my god. I did it the first time, like, flawless victory. I just need to get those last chests over there, and it's like... I'm growing impatient, because... This challenge is already over. Other countries don't know what buttermilk biscuits are. Biscuits are delicious. Oh, there is a portal right there. I just keep passing it. I just continue to make my life more difficult. There we go. The blue spirals are called whirly gigs. Is that true? Is that canon? I cannot believe that Streamlabs is still- I might have to demod Streamlabs because this is a bug. I literally deleted the poll and it's still triggering, triggering alerts. <laughs> At least I remember the whirly gig is here. can run over where? Where those things are? I'm not sure. I just need to get to this thing. There we go, okay. <laughs> that was like all I needed. There we go, that's all I needed. I just couldn't get the last, I couldn't stick the landing. Well, the good news is that this is one of the worst levels in the game, as I recall, so... Um, hey, we finished it. I can't imagine life without KFC biscuits. <laughs> Yeah, that's one good thing about Hurricanes is the music is good. Periwinkle is also a good color. Worst level, are you sure? It's one of the worst. One of the worst. One of my least favorite.
Well, hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'd be mighty grateful. I can remember exactly what these turtles looked like in the original, and I really like these designs. Oh, the baby turtles are so cute! The green one kind of looks like Franklin. This is precious. This is Spyro too. Oh, gotcha. So they may have made a cannon in the... In the third one. Once you said it, I was like, that sounds kind of familiar? But I'm also super gullible, so I would have probably believed that. If you had made it up. Something about this camera is kind of messy. No, you can't do anything here, right? I guess I have to come back to that. Oh my god, he looks so dumb. Sorry, I meant the little turtle looked like Franklin. The camera is awful in boss fights. Yeah, this I I don't like not like not just boss fights, trying to do any of the challenges. Like, I feel like I don't know if I'm making this memory up, but I feel like in the original, when you would go into puzzles, the camera would automatically do like this, like a top down, and it would stay there, which made everything a little bit more helpful. But the, it doesn't do that in this, which is curious. Um, son? Son, what have I told you about going inside of other turtles? Stop blowing raspberries on him, it's weird! <laughs> yeah, heck out of here. I'm trying to figure out, like, is that other one supposed to go- Oh, I bet you- I bet you I put, make him go elsewhere later. I probably have to, like, make him go all the way over here. Damn it. Something about, uh... I was fe just feeling Spyro for some reason today. Oh man, I have to go back when I can climb walls. So I cannot 100% complete this one quite yet. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's why we gotta do to those chests. Water workers have captured most of our baby turtles, and the boxes they put them in are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame attack, maybe you could break open the boxes and release them. Okay. 
Oh, this, he looks really cool. Oh. Can I? Holy shit, no, sir, 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 return, return. That way. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess some messed up part of me wanted me wanted him to explode. Honestly, Sarah, I can't wait for the social distancing to end. I don't about you, but yeah. Um, yeah, me too. It's just... I miss, like, eating places, <laughs> I think, most. Like, you can't get good ramen at home. Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Maybe you could climb up there and stop him? Were my husband together and, and I together in med school and was it hard? Yes and yes. I actually met John immediately. Uh, like, before he started med school. And I was like, I like you so much. Let's try and make it work. And thankfully, I'm a pretty independent person anyway. Like, I, uh... I'm a bit of an introvert and a loner, despite kind of like what you see here. Streaming's a lot easier than, um, than like going out and doing social things. Uh, so I'm like most of the time, I'm just like in bed playing Animal Crossing or working. So um, it wasn't too much of a struggle for me. But like when I did like want to go out and go with my circle of friends, it was difficult because like I went to weddings alone. I um, when I would go back home to, like, visit family, a lot of times I was alone, but it's been a lot, like, I, it, knowing that it was temporary, you know, certainly helped. It's not like I could get upset with him about it. So, there were parts that, like, definitely sucked, but most of it was feeling bad for him and the stress that he was under. Um, in terms of, like, our relationship, I wouldn't say it was, like, it, it wasn't, like, the worst. Thank you, young dragon. The baby turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. If he could do it again, would he? So he's not in his first year of residency now, so I think it's a little early for him early to ask him because like a first year resident is still going to be like way more full of piss and vinegar than a doctor that's been doing it for 10, 15, 20 years. Um, but as of right now, I think he still thinks it's worth it. Um, given the pandemic, uh, it has definitely laid bare a lot of problems with the medical system and I think that anybody who's in healthcare right now will tell you that. Doctors, nurses, PAs, techs. Um, so, like, that's been interesting, and there has been uh, some push for Congress to make, like, a... How do I get in here? Where's, like, the entrance? I can't remember. It must not be in here. Was it up? No, it wasn't up here. What 
What the shit? How did I get in here? But uh, to answer your question, I it, I think it's just too soon to tell. He did pick emergency medicine, so he's actually in the ER. And um, so I think that the burnout rate for EM physicians is different from, say, that of surgeons or of, um, like, family doctors who are really severely underpaid or ICU doctors who are severely overworked. Like, it also largely depends on the type of residency or um, career path that physicians tend to do. But since ER physicians are paid well and don't have a call schedule, like when they're home, they're home. Um, generally, when they are asked 10 years into their career, their satisfaction is high. So that's nice. His, his own co-worker has been like, I will never have to miss a kid's soccer game if I don't want to, you know, which is nice. Oh, there he is right now. That's my, that's my husband. <laughs> they were asking earlier, John, if it was a strain on our relationship. I was like, yes and no, because I'm pretty uh, independent anyway, but... It was definitely stressful whenever we wanted to go do stuff. Like, when I went to anime conventions, I was usually by myself. You know, that kind of sucked, because it was how we met. Uh, like, we met through conventions. He's a photographer, and I'm a cosplayer. But... Like, knowing it was temporary always helped. I think that might be all I can No, There was definitely one more chest with the turtles, so I may as well do that. How do I have to map a way back to? Put a turtle over here. I guess I can't make him go any further. All right, then two. Good to you and all. Oh, he won't. He'll stay there too. Yeah. I need another turtle. I can move them off with the supercharge. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, there's more stuff up there, too. I might need the wall climbing stuff to do that, though. Always found marriage misleading, no offense. Uh, I'm not sure why. I'm, I'm enjoying it well enough. It's not really any different than what we were doing before. I'm gonna try, I guess, by 
blasting one of them with this. I don't know how else I can get them to move from that spot. No, that doesn't help. I don't put a turtle there. I step on it and shoot it. Oh, well, that's simple enough. I was thinking way too much about that one. Now, the question is, can I get to the last one without needing to climb? don't recall seeing another one. Why do I feel like one of them is up on that cliff I have to climb on? Like over here somewhere. see anything up there though. There wasn't one at the beginning of the level, was there? Let me check just in case. I think there was just the underwater one, which I already got. Yeah, there's I got that one. There is something I have to do with this thing, though, I think. What other purpose is there to him being here, you know? Also, there's clearly more stuff up there. I have to be missing another part of this level I just can't get to yet. That's the only thing I can guess. Did you get the one in the last area? I did. Well, I know I need to come back with at least one ability, so there's this is the nice thing about Spyro 2 is there's no sense in sweating it because I'm gonna have to come back anyway. So let's go back and buy that ability rather than sit here and torture myself. Although, can I even proceed? Did I proceed to the last part of the level? Yeah, I did. It's over here. I, was gonna, I think I got the talisman already. realness in Sarah's chat. Yeah, this world you have to backtrack later on. I was thinking it must be that. No sense in spinning around. In circles. I will get my ladder, ladder climbing ability, and I will I will come back. Is 
say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only My I had ass. a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Most video game uh, protagonists are heroic sociopaths. It's true. Spyro isn't an eco-terrorist. Ah, yes. He was asked to do a job. The of those gems seems to have He was commanded to do a job, rather. <clears throat> yes, it is for the PS4. You piece of shit. That's not what I was asking for. door will only open if you have all six summer forest talismans once the door is open ripto and crush will be waiting in the dungeon okay how many do i have uh f5 i need one more i guess i missed a world probably I think I remember which one it is. Mm, wrong way. This way. Oh, what? Is it gonna close, or...? Turbo Graphics, the most underappreciated console of its time. Oh, shit, Speedway. Nope. Oh, never mind. I thought the one money bags unlocked was the uh, Ocean Speedway. It's Aquaria Towers. I'm just a dumb dumb. Telling me to do something special here, game. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, well, we figured it out. Nothing I can do in this world yet, I just gotta get the last talisman. 